And so we're back to that question of what are the overlapping functions between RA and RD? And this represents a critical intersection where collaboration can significantly enhance institutional research capacity. These are shared spaces and are not just areas of operational overlap. They're strategic touch points where alignment can reduce fiction, improve efficiency, and amplify support for researchers. The communication between researchers and funding bodies where both research administration and research development play critical roles in facilitating effective communication between researchers and funding bodies. Clear and efficient communication is essential for securing funds, ensuring compliance, and maintaining strong relationships with those funding agencies. Both RA and RD may initiate or assist in communication with funding bodies. RD may often engage in outreach to understand a funding priority and disseminate the information to researchers, while RA often handles the administrative queries and compliance-related communications. In continued conversations with funding, RD may help with preparing questions, or sorry, responses to further questions about a proposal or consult with faculty prior to a program officer conversation about a declined proposal. Central office RAs tend to be the formal authorized official or contact receiving and providing official communications about individual proposals and awards. The second area of overlap is proposal development. Both RD and RD, RA may contribute to the development of a proposal through assisting with completing forms, institutional information, and boilerplates, templates, checklists, reviews, and budget development. The RD is often engaged with the content of the project narrative and other texts to ensure that the project or program is clearly stated, it's compelling, and it's responsive to review criteria. RA is typically involved in ensuring complete and compliant proposals. In what is called competitive intelligence, that may be new terminology to some of you, data about prior funding and proposal submissions, as well as prior institutional funding, can all be relevant to the development of a proposal. RA may house the institutional information, whereas RD may be responsible for coordinating and interpreting that information to be more competitive. This might look like requests for successful proposals or providing information on success with various grant programs at your institution. RD is often responsible for managing internal competitions to limited submissions and must communicate those approvals to the authorized officials. RA often receives notices of award, which are valuable then to the RD counterparts for tracking and assessing competitiveness to the program. A third category is training and professional development. RD typically organizes workshops and seminars focused on developing skills in proposal writing, identifying funding opportunities, and successful grant management. RA may contribute by including sessions on compliance and financial management. We, in fact, did that at Montana State University where we did a co-presentation where we brought in an individual research administrator to have in-person conversations as part of a new uh, proposal writing workshop. Both RA and RD collaborate on professional development programs to support researchers' career growth. This includes those new investigator trainings, workshops for navigating changes to funding landscapes, and on-campus opportunities with funders. RD and RA teams often work together to create and disseminate resources, such as guidelines and templates and best practice documents to support researchers in grant writing, project management, and compliance. Fourth is enhancing the institutional research capacity. Both functions collaborate on developing long-term strategic plans that align with institutional goals and research priorities. RD often takes the lead in identifying emerging research trend, trends, while RA ensures that these plans include robust administrative and compliance frameworks. RA and RD work together to foster interdisciplinary research, and RD facilitates connection between researchers from different disciplines to form collaborative teams, while RA may support these teams by managing and providing mechanisms for logistical and administrative aspects of interdisciplinary projects. There's often a shared responsibility to communicate changing guidelines or regulation with faculty. So a summary of these overlapping areas, 
of research administration and research development, it demonstrates the complementary nature of these functions. The collaboration ensures that researchers receive comprehensive support from identifying the funding opportunities and developing proposals to ensuring compliance and fostering a strong institutional research capacity. And by working together, RA and RD enhance the efficiency, effectiveness, and overall success of the institution's research endeavors.